What up guys, welcome back to Two Dudes in a Six Pack. It's been a while, you thought you got rid of me. But I'm still here, it's kinda crazy out right now. It's, you know, quarantine city, uh, but you know, that's just how it goes right now. Um, I'm in the middle of renovating a 1968 camper, that's what I'm in right now. And so that's kinda what I've been, been doing as of late. I will, within the next month, be on the road with this. I can work from wherever, so I figured, let's just take wherever to everywhere. And so, again, sorry that it's been um, kind of a long time, but I figured Oktoberfest, the perfect time to get back in it. And um, I actually tried to record this earlier, and the camera kept dying. So I cracked this beer open, haven't poured it yet, but um, it is a Great Lakes Brewing Company Oktoberfest, 6.5% ABV. Martin style lager and um, it's the first actual first I've had for the year so let's just get into it um, I've had the cameras gone haywire twice already so I'm just hoping I can get through this but let's pour this sucker oh yeah look at that perfect perfect pour Got some nice head on that, real creamy on the top. So I don't really wanna move. I took the table out, I'm, re I'm uh, installing a new table and all that stuff, so I got nothing in here but paint and the stuff going on outside. So, which is why the windows is clo are closed, which is why I'm sweating up a storm right now. So, let's just, um, yeah, I, I had more intro on the other two, but I'll, I'll do that in the next beer. But anyways, um, while this settles down a bit, I guess while it settles down a bit, I can tell you that since I'll be taking this on the road and we just be driving around the country, checking out the national parks and different stuff for the next however long, um, if you have any fantastic local beers that you like, that you have recommendations for, drop them in the comments below. I will see you uh, when I'm, whenever I'm in that part of the country, I'll check it out. And also, if you're just getting into the Oktoberfest beers now, um, check out the playlist. I have over 30 from last year, and I also gave my recommendations for the top Oktoberfest beers for 2019, and I will try to do that for this year, as long as I can get into some good ones. And I did not come across the Great Lakes Brewing Company last year, so this one was out of Cleveland, I, I believe it is. Yes, Cleveland, Ohio. One of the classic, classic um, craft beers that I don't think gets as, not, it's as much attention as it should. Um, you've had a lot of more recent uh, pop-ups that have really kind of taken the, the the beer industry. And maybe it's just because they don't make as many IPAs or whatever, but I've always liked pretty much everything that they make there. Eli, uh, the, the Eli Ness, Elliot Ness, I think Elliot Ness. Or am I combining two different beers? I don't know, anything from Great Lakes is good. Anyways, um, this looks I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. So let's get in the review, get into the smell. This has more of your, almost just a kind of a traditional lager aroma to it. It has kind of that golden wheat aroma to it. It, it smells like it's gonna be a little lighter in taste, not quite, um, as like Odie or as, um, you, you don't have as much of that, um, that bitterness that you get in some of these things. Um, it doesn't, the, from the aroma alone, I don't think it's, doesn't taste like, or doesn't smell like it's going to have quite that impact, but we'll see. I'm picking up, it's almost like a, like a date or raisin kind of aroma to it. There is a subtle sweetness to it. Let's see if they give you any information on, um, they just kind of say it's your basic German thing, packed with rustic autumnal flavors. But there's, there's nothing crazy going on. It, it's kind of, it has maybe a subtle nuttiness to it. It's kind of, it's almost like a cross between a, a brown ale and a lager. 
Um, but I think I like the uh, where they're going with it. I like the the aroma. I'm gonna recommend it for that. Um, I think it might be if you're not super heavy on like that burnt maltiness to it. Um, I'm thinking this is gonna be the one for you, but we'll find out in taste. Hmm. Okay, that is a. I think that hits the sweet spot for maltiness. There is a bit of a toasted kind of um, toasted oatmeal kind of uh, malt to it, kind of like that toasted breakfast cereal um, taste to it. It's not really super in intense. It hits the tip of your tongue, but it doesn't really. It uh, kind of stops there. There's not a whole bunch else um, of the maltiness. Yeah, they, a, a subtle nuttiness to it. Um, that that you get a dab of that kind of traditional lager, but that it's really kind of covered by the maltiness that's going on. I don't have a screen on this camera, so I'm trying to make sure I'm in the view. Maybe a bit of, there's a subtle sweetness to it. And I think it's almost like, um, maybe like a, like a honey-ish kind of thing going on. Like a honey brown lager with some of like that to the toasted um, maltiness going on. But none of it's really super overpowering. Um, I think it's pretty refreshing since I'm basically, which is great because I'm basically in like a, you know, a sardine box right now. I'll tell you what, renovating these things, you don't realize how just no insulation there is. <laughs> and it's probably all asbestos. So I'm not getting corona, I'm getting, you know, inhaling asbestos and lead. No quarantine for that. Yeah, but I'm very much enjoying this. I think this is a good introduction to the Oktoberfest. Um, it's not crazy malty. Um, so if you're looking for a super intense maltiness, um, look for something else. But I think you'll just like the taste of this in general. It just tastes well done. It tastes like something you can just kind of kick back um, and I would say watch a game, but I guess watch baseball or basketball playoffs. I don't, I don't know. Um, but no football in Great Lakes, um, unless the, the Browns are able to do something or the Lions. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna recommend taste. I think it's just, it's a nicely, it's a nice, enjoyable Oktoberfest. It's a nice way to start off the season. So, I recommend on that. Um, next price, next, next time goes by the price, and this is, um, Generally, it, it was a, a fair price. You know, I think it was like a dollar seventy nine. I think it was about under two bucks for this beer. It I can't really go wrong with it. Um, I'm surprised I didn't find when I was in Arizona. I didn't find a whole lot of Great Legs there. Um, I guess you probably because you know it's flooded with the California beers. But um, for a kind of an old school classic um, craft beer. You really can't go wrong with this, and I think for two bucks, it's more than fair. So I'm gonna recommend it for that. Um, distinction, how distinct is it? And well, there's I mean, it's it's a general October Oktoberfest beer. I think it's done very well. This is one of those kind of like uh, it's hard to really super differentiate yourself with it. You, you just basically you have to make it and not suck at making at it. And um, surprisingly, a lot of people suck at it. But this one, it, it's just, 
they don't have any crazy flavors. You, you're not gonna be like like surprised, like oh, this has banana in it, or this has uh, I don't know guava in it. No, no, nothing like that. It's very, it's on the nose. You know what you're gonna get into. Um, it's just it's it's a well done. Um, October best beer. Um, I will have to get into the the latest rendition of Sam Adams. Uh, I didn't want to start off the season with Sam Adams just because I've already done it before last year. I wanted to get a different one, so starting off with this, and I'll have to get the Sam Adams later, and I'll see if it can compete because this is a really well done, and I think Great Lakes. You can, you know, if you hunt it down, you should be able to find it. But um, I think um, for distinction, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up just because. It's, it tastes like an Oktoberfest, which is what you're going for, and it's done well. So, I'm, so yes, recommend on that. Um, next category, drinkability, and yes, it is very easy to drink. It's, um, for me, I like a, you know, medium level malt. This when it's super crazy, I gotta slow down, and um, you know, I'm not gonna be able to drink a giant boot of uh, super malty beer, um, at least quickly. Um, with this, Right, again, right in the sweet spot. Everything works. And, yeah. Super drinkable. So I'm gonna recommend it on drinkability. And last category is would I buy it again? And um, so far, even this is the first Oktoberfest I've had of the season. Takes the cake, and I will be buying it again. Um, I'm a little disappointed that the first beer back in like two and a half months is a uh, two dudes stamp of approval. But it is, you know, you, you know, can't argue with good beer. And this Great Lakes Brewing Company Oktoberfest beer is exactly what you're looking for. It is what you want an Oktoberfest beer to be. Um, again, they don't really, they don't give a whole lot of information about it. But what other information do you need to know about it? So it's a Martin style lot, or 6.5%. That's that's basically it. So. Anyways, I recommend it. Um, stick around. I will have many more videos coming up now that I, I have them. Um, it was kind of hard to record in uh, other places. There's always kids around. There's other, other stuff going on. There's always noise. It has been hectic. But thankfully now, um, and you'll be able to you'll be able to see uh, the renovations as they go. And I'll be taking you along for the ride once I uh, get out on the road. And so we'll be seeing all these uh, national parks. I wanted to try to hit Alaska, but Alaska hates America right now and we're not allowed in. So, um, first stops will probably be maybe Picture Rock and Badlands. We'll see. So you might, you might be getting some new beer reviews from some crazy places. We'll see. But anyways, um, for myself and for Great Lakes Brewing Company's Oktoberfest, take it easy.